How many players in the NBA can do this? Continues to go to work with the move and the throw down. Now, how many players in the NBA have this level of athleticism paired with incredible court vision, improved shooting touch, and the ability to make plays on the defensive side of the floor that you almost never see from anyone under seven foot? Pass inside. Whoa! from Barnes. That's just who Scotty Barnes is. And at just 22 years old, he proved exactly why the Raptors see him as a franchise cornerstone, which is not exactly what social media was saying when the Raptors decided not to trade him during last offseason. Well, fast forward a year later, and Scotty just had an all-star season in which he was one of five players to average at least 19 points, eight rebounds, and six assists per game last season. The other four players Players, you might ask, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Nikola Jokic, Luka Doncic, and DeMontis Sabonis. The three best players in the league, an all-NBA center, and a guy in his third season. Pretty good company. And while Scotty isn't that level of player just yet, the clear similarity amongst that group is the combination of size and playmaking ability. And you can't talk about Scotty Barnes without mentioning his playmaking. Just take this play for example, where he grabs the loose ball, and with Aaron Gordon draped all over him, he makes a three-quarter left-handed dime to Pascal Siakam for the layup. And there are a few reasons Scotty is such a good playmaker. One of those reasons is his ability to push the pace and find players in transition, like we just saw. Another aspect of his playmaking that is great is his ability to capitalize on the attention that he draws inside and find open players as a results, like here where he's up against a very good defender in Derek White. But as good as Derek White is, that's a mismatch for Scotty. and off that spin move, Cornette is forced to help over, so Scotty makes the clever dump pass to McDaniels for the and one. Or this time where you have three Memphis defenders crowding him, and you see the advantage of being six foot seven, because he's able to see over the top of the defense to make the dump off pass to Thad Young. And this is the uniqueness of Scotty. Scotty's game. He has point guard like vision and touch on his passes, but at six foot seven, he utilizes that vision more frequently on post ups or in transition, as opposed to running a hundred pick and rolls a game like most of the top playmakers in the NBA. With that being said, Scotty also has the versatility to run pick and rolls, sometimes having a guard like Bruce Brown set the screen, which puts the defense in a difficult position. Because take this play for example Chicago can't allow. Scotty to just attack Kobe White downhill, so both he and Vucevic have to show. However, Scotty is good enough to recognize that and drops it off to Bruce for the two. And another aspect of playmaking that I will always, always highlight when given the chance is a player's ability to throw an entry pass. And it's ironic, but so often it's the bigger players who are better at throwing the entry passes than some of these score first point guards, because they know the right spots to put the ball in. And this might seem like a minor thing, but it's this knowledge of passing angles and the weight of pass, which makes Scotty so good at finding players in transition or in those tight windows when he gets double teamed. And it was this level of playmaking that was a huge reason the Raptors were so much better with him on the floor versus off the floor last season. Sure, he wasn't able to turn them into an elite team, but he was the difference between a play-in level team and, well, close to the worst team in the NBA, which is still impressive for a third-year player. And he was so impactful because of his overall game, which includes his defense. You cannot talk about Scotty Barnes without mentioning the defensive side of the ball, because all those physical traits that he uses to his advantage on offense, they're just as advantageous, if not even more, on the defensive side of the floor. And I think an Initially, people expected him to be this do-it-all defender who could guard one to five and chase players around screens. Now, don't get me wrong, he does move well, but his biggest strength on defense is what he does off the ball, averaging at least one steal and one and a half blocks per game last season, finishing the season as one of five players to average those numbers. The other names were Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Victor Wembanyama. I don't need to tell you the 
kind of company that is defensively. Not only have they all been in DPOY conversations during their careers, but they are all seven footers. Meanwhile, Scotty is six foot seven, even though I still refuse to believe that his actual height is six foot seven. Because how many players at that size are doing this? Pass inside. Whoa, what a block from Barnes. Or look at this play where Shangun gets the ball in the post. RJ helps off green to double, so Scotty then slides over. For some reason, four different players help over, which leaves Shangun wide open on the dump off, but miraculously, Scotty is able to get up there and block the center on the dunk attempt. And it's that wingspan that makes him such an incredible shot blocker. Even on this play where Halliburton gets a step on him, and you can see him try to put the ball higher off the backboard to avoid the block, but just look at the length. That's freakish. And I don't want to compare him to Draymond Green, because he's one of the greatest defenders of all time. But the combination of physical traits and some of the timing he has on those rotations, it is reminiscent of Draymond Green. Even the way he communicates and really tries to organize the defense is something we've seen from Draymond. What made Draymond Green one of one, however, was he made an impact defensively every single possession. If Scotty can be 70% of that on defense, with what he brings offensively, that's an all-NBA level player. And his offense also includes his ability to score the ball, which I would say is his most underrated aspect of his game. Often people are obsessed with how a player scores. It's why you hear people say Jamal Crawford or Lou Williams were all-time great scorers or they were unguardable because they could make defenders look silly. I'm here to tell you, despite having the ball on a string, they weren't actually the greatest scorers ever. And in the same way, despite Scotty sometimes looking a little awkward as a scorer, he can put the ball in the basket, and that's what matters. But what matters even more is the improvements he's made to his overall scoring, particularly his three-point shooting. Going from a non-threat to taking five threes a game and shooting just below league average on those attempts, making more threes per game this season than his first two seasons in the league combined. That's the development you want to see from your 22-year-old All-Star. And the biggest advantage of this added three-point shooting is you saw players consistently close out on him from beyond the arc, which is exactly what he wants you to do. Because if you overcommit, it's about three steps for him from the three-point line to the rim, like here where Capella overcommits, and look at Scotty just glide to the rim before effortlessly finishing with his left. Scotty's definitely not a perfect scorer by any means, but with his combination of downhill ability, using that size and athleticism to just run through defenders alongside the touch he has around the rim with floaters and hook shots and runners, there is a genuine basis for a good scorer. Just how good he will be is dependent on his overall shooting, not just his three-point shooting, but also also his mid-range shooting, which took a leap last year, with him looking more and more comfortable taking pull-up jumpers off the dribble, either using his size to bully defenders before rising up, or at times breaking them down with a couple of dribble moves and just looking really smooth. And if we're basing expectations off off-season videos, which can be dangerous, then it looks like he's in store for another shooting leap. It's also exactly what he said he would be aiming to improve entering next season. I've been working on a ton of mid-range moves, a ton of read and reaction, off the ball dribble, just trying to read the defenders. Scotty Barnes is 22 years old with elite defensive potential, great playmaking, good scoring, and an ability to improve his overall game. Yeah, the Raptors have a special player on their hands, and I think more people need to recognize that. Now, if you did make it all the way to the end of the video and want to see more content like this going forward, consider subscribing subscribing, it's free. Dropping a like on the video would be much appreciated. Most importantly, have a great day. Bye.